Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. Today in this video, I have a nifty little trick for those of you who are veteran users of HitFilm, something that you may have not known before. Before we begin, if you want to learn more about HitFilm while getting some really awesome tips and tricks that can instantly be used in all of your HitFilm projects along the way, Subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon for notifications. Tutorials come out weekly. So I have a little project here that I have where I have these this text that is slowly over four seconds sort of organically transitioning onto the screen. It is using this mat, uh, which is in a different composite shot. If you come over to that composite shot, you can see it's just a fractal noise. Uh, where the effect offset has been um, keyframed and the exposure has been ramped up and things like that. And there's some other effects here. And so what if I wanted to kind of mess around with some of this? Let's say, for example, I wanted to play with the scale and I want to take the scale down a little bit. Then I go back over to the main shot and I look and see how that worked. Come back here, maybe I'll go up a little bit, go back over to the main shot and see how that looks. The problem is, is that I don't get a live look at the change that happens in the main composite shot based on what changes I make in this secondary composite shot. Is there a way to actually change things here while having a live look over here? And the answer is yes, there is. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go in the main composite shot. You're going to go ahead and highlight the layer that you want to change or mess with and make sure that it is available here in the Controls tab. On the upper right-hand corner of the Controls tab, there's a little pin that says Lock Selection. You're going to click on that pin and make sure that it turns blue. Then you can go back over to the other composite shot but still have the properties of that layer in the secondary composite shot available to change. So if I open up the fractal noise, for example, and I want to mess around with the scale, I can mess around with the scale of the layer that is in the other composite shot while I am looking at the main composite shot. And I can do all kinds of things. I can rotate this, maybe I'll adjust the axis scale, and I can get a live look at how those changes affect my main composite shot immediately without having to go back and forth between these shots. I'm Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. If you like this video, do me a favor and like it. And if you like this kind of content, definitely subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell icon for notifications. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.